A bong.com presents the ballista. Prior to beginning assembly, sand the top and bottom faces of each part to remove any soot caused by the laser cutting process. The top and bottom faces will be light in color. To sand the parts, lay a sheet of 150 grit sandpaper flat on a hard surface grit side up and gently press the parts against the paper, moving it in small circles. Prior to joining parts together, use 150 grit sandpaper to remove the dark brown residue from any area requiring glue. This will ensure a secure bond. Step 1. Join the upper and lower breech with glue. Step 2. Glue the upper and lower frames to the assembled breech. Note, the lower frame is notched for the pivot blocks. Step 3. Glue the trigger slips to the end of the breech. Step 4. Turn over the breech and glue the pivot blocks into the notch. Step 5. Slide the trigger axle through the slips and trigger. Note, apply glue only to tip of trigger axle as shown. Step 6. Glue the uprights and the base to the stabilizer. Note, notches on the uprights face away from the base. Step 7. Slide the pivot axle through the uprights and pivot blocks. Step 8. Slip a stop pin through the upper and lower frame. Note, do not glue. Stop pin must slide freely. Step 9. Cut one of the braided cords in half and form each piece into a 12 inch long loop using the skein loop template on your instructions as your guide. Form the skeins by twisting and folding the tied loop as shown. Step 10. Slip a torsion pin through the skein. Using the paper clip provided, thread the other end of the skein loop through the outer holes in the upper and lower frame. Step 11. Work one of the arms and another torsion pin through the loop of the skein as shown. Note: All three pieces must pass through the center of the skein with an equal number of cords on each side. Step 12. Slide the stop pin down until its top is even with the top surface of the upper frame. This will allow the upper torsion pin to turn freely. Turn the upper torsion pin one full turn as shown and return the stop into its original position. This will twist the skein and begin powering up the ballista. Step 13. Now slide the stop pin up until its bottom is even with the lower surface of the bottom frame. The lower torsion pin can now turn freely while the upper pin is secured. Turn the lower torsion pin one full turn as shown and return the stop into its original position. This will ensure the tension in the skein is evenly distributed. Step 14. If the arm has become twisted, straighten it out. Repeat steps 12 and 13, adjusting the torsion pin one half turn at a time. Continue powering up the skein only until the arm springs out when rotated towards the breech. Note, additional tightening will be done to balance and tune the ballista later. Step 15. Repeat steps 9 through 13 for the other arm, turning the torsion pins in the opposite direction. Step 16. Create the bow string by forming a 10 and a half inch long loop in the remaining braided cord. Use the template on your instructions as a guide. Attach the bow string to the arm as shown. Note, save the braided cord trimmed in the step. Step 17. Slip the knock bead onto the bow string. Step 18. Squeeze the arms together and thread the bow string through the hole in the other arm as shown. Wrap the resulting loop over the end of the arm. Note, the bowstring is strung to the bottom of both arms. Step 19. Thread a piece of leftover braided cord through the knock bead and form a loop one and a half inches long. Use the template on the bottom of your instructions as a guide. Step 20. Don't panic if the arms are uneven at this point. Turn the ballista by adding tension to the arm that is being pulled closest to the breech. Alternate between adding the half turn to the top and bottom torsion pins on the same side until things even out. Step 21. If the ballista 
doesn't shoot at least 30 inches, add one half turn of tension to both top torsion pins and try again. Still need more power? Add one half turn to both bottom torsion pins and so on. Overpowering will cause the braided cord to fail or cause the knock bead to strike the breech and break. Replacement parts are available. Like this build or have questions or comments? Email us at support at abong.com.